Hello everyone, this is the Crying Chain, part of the Long Drain Divided team, bringing you achievement runs. This will teach you a different how to get different achievements. Uh, today we're going to do the lazy, uh, lazy Bastard achievement. So go ahead and start a new game. I have a map already set that I like to use for this, so I'm going to have to do that. As you can see, I haven't changed any of the settings. Everything is normal. Now the actual setting choices you use doesn't really matter, so you can go ahead and set it to the way you like it, and whatever fits best for what you want to do. I just prefer, uh, particularly like this particular map. So first up, craft your pickaxe as per usual. Chop down a few trees and drop your iron, drop your uh, your setup here. I like to get iron first, since iron is the you know it gets you more uh, miners. Now you can only craft 111 items during this run. Nothing more. Now I'm not going to do the full till the end of the game run, I'm going to simply show you how to get from the beginning of the game to auto crafting everything without breaking the 111 limit. Because that is the challenge. You just have to then, you know, save often just in case you accidentally, you know, craft yet another item, you know, throughout the run. Because that'll cause you issues, obviously. Because you will fail. There, seven, eight, and yes, I'm going to craft an iron chest. And if you're thinking, oh, why would you waste all your resources on iron chest? Because an iron chest is one craft. If you use wooden chests, you're doing three crafts because you have to craft the wood first. So you have to use iron chests. Suck it up. All right, chop down some trees real quick. Now you don't want to waste too much on your tree chopping because as you're chopping these trees down, you're wasting your pick and you're unable to craft too many picks because if you do, then you break your crafting limit. As a matter of fact, from my particular run, you may only craft two picks until you get auto crafting. Two. That's it. No more. No less. Don't overcraft. Be careful with what you craft. Be very precise with what you craft. Be careful with your actions, because if you overdo your actions, then you'll run out of picks and you're stuck poking for your resources. If you don't want to poke for your resources, it's very annoying to do that. So you want to get power running, so go ahead and grab your setup here. I'm gonna move these around for the placement. You're gonna hand grab the uh, copper during this run. You're going to need 34 copper total during this run. So you can go ahead and just keep grabbing as much copper as you have available to yourself. Keep an eye on your spots in case they run out of fuel. Now of course this isn't a speed run, see they ran out of fuel. This is not a speed run, so you don't have to like, rush around, because we're just doing achievement runs, not speed runs. So no reason to rush around, just keep an eye on it so you know when to you know, refill, so you're not spending your entire time waiting for this to be completed. Also, you're going to want to craft one small electric pole. Uh, I'm going to shift click and remove my iron axe, because I can chop down the trees pretty quickly, and there's no need to waste the iron axe. Right, drop this down. Re-equip the axe. Come on. I need to small electric pole. Line it up. Click. Click. Now we need to craft a lab. So we need 36 and 15. There we got the 15 for the copper. We're waiting on the iron. So while we're waiting on the iron, we'll just grab copper. Because we're gonna need more copper later. There is a bit of patience required to obtain this achievement. So, take your time, don't rush, just you know, do what you gotta do. I know you're thinking like, oh, but you've only used 34 crafts. You know, you don't have to worry about it, right? Yes, yes I do have to worry about it. Don't craft. If you don't need the craft, don't do it. It's that simple. Like I said, two picks available for the run, so I'm gonna craft my second pick. 
I'm at 20 iron. I need 36. I'm gonna come back here, grab more copper. I'm not grabbing iron because you know, you'll see very shortly that I'm gonna when I get into the auto crafting, you can just auto craft it more of the uh, miners. So no really worry about that. You're just better off setting up like this and just grabbing your copper because you're gonna need copper and you know it saves you time. This full run takes about 20 to 30 minutes to complete. Grab the iron, we're at 30. Just need a few more. Drop those in, pick up those. We're at 33 copper. Good. Seven, eight. All right, craft your lab. Craft your science pack. Your first set, your first ten science packs you have to craft by hand, and that's the big part of this is the fact that you have to do it by hand. Oop, not want to do that. Because you have to do the first ten by hand, you have to make sure that you have enough crafting space left over, like crafting, you know, the times you're allowed to craft before you lose to do this. Automation, always first. Going to need automation. Without it, you're SOL. Alright, so now we need power, so you drop some coal in here. There, power running, automation is done. Oh, but a cry and shame, if you just need to grab the automation, aren't you done now? No, we are not done. If you just go for automation and waste all your crafts, you will fail this run. I promise you that. You are not done. Do not waste your crafts. Continue gathering your resources. Continue doing your, what you're doing before. No worries. Take your time. We're not done yet. Got that. Alright, we made two. I have to remember how many we made. So, one, two, three, and it's five. Right click for another five is a total of ten. So you've now made all ten science packs. Do not craft any more. You're gonna waste your crafts. Right, we're good for copper for now, so I'm just gonna grab iron. And do not craft anything else extra. Oh, I lost my second pick. That's it. I'm done. Can't use picks anymore. At least not for now. Alright, let that research. I'm pretty much done for that, so I'm just going to chop down some trees. Because we're going to need these trees anyway. So I might as well chop them down while I can't use my pick. Well, we just got to find something to do. Take your time. Be patient. No need to rush anything. Alright, we're at 96 crafts right now. We still need to get our automated system ready. is almost done. You can see in the top right hand corner it's progress. Well, if there's this tree, why not? Then, go for electricity. Because we're going to get to automation 2 as soon as we can. Pick up your iron. Pick up whatever you got left for copper. Then we're going to craft assembly machine. We are now at, wait for it, 110. We have one craft left. And that's the key point. We still have a craft left. Right. Throw these in there. Craft a few of these guys so that you can turn around and craft yourself some picks. 
take your left over craft yourself some furnaces get some iron up here now we're at a point where we can craft a number of items but if you see we can't craft everything we need to get to automation 2 before we can start crafting any of these items and now where this all comes in we need to get to that point one of the reasons why you craft those extra furnaces is now we can place down the furnaces still haven't crafted anything extra, extra at this point and we can mine by hand along with our burner burner mine and drill next to us I think that this run takes a little while it takes about 20 minutes to complete so just take your time with it for this electronics we're going to need 30 which means we're going to need 30 copper and then for automation 2 we're going to need another 40 copper well sorry 80 copper so that's another thing you gotta keep in mind is that we need a lot of copper for this run for the full run um, what I was saying before was a 24 is to get up to a certain point in this run to get to the uh, automation part of it so just a little while more just a little more copper needed I think at this point we can actually uh, start furnacing some of this. Let that go. Grab our iron. Place that down here in the gears. Let the gears process. Come back up here. So we're going to craft all those gears for the science packs. I'm just bored. It's a bit of waiting at this point. So, got 36. Alright. Now we can do that. We're going to want to make a burner mine drill. We want to take one piece there. Make one of those suckers. Place this down right here. Now you want to make the burner miner because you can't make the other mine, the other drill, the other inserter yet. So you just want to go ahead and make that one. Go ahead and do your red science packs. Drop your gears. Drop your copper. And there you go. That'll create 24 of them, which will be enough, well, almost enough for electronics. So while that's running, continue your copper. It'll take care of itself for now. And if you're wondering if there's a possibility that you could um, do this run with crafting another burner miner and placing it adjacent to the stone furnace, the answer is no, you can't. It costs five crafts to complete with the, uh, the burner miner. So if you do, you need 100 for the full run. Crafting an extra burner is five. Crafting a second one is another five, which gives you one ten, which means you couldn't have the two crafts to get your pick. So you may only craft one extra one. You can try to go ahead and decide to put it on your copper, but as you can see, you need the coal a lot more than you need the copper. So I put it on the copper, the uh, coal, not the copper. Yes, that's all done. Go ahead and make some red signs. Two more there. So yeah, it'll run through. And in a little bit, we'll have completed electronics and we'll have to wait yet again for automation two. Then I'm just crafting more gears because I'm going to need more gears in order to complete the full uh, research. And then after that point, we should be at a much better state and should be mostly done.
That's 51. So 60. Uh, well, let's get there more in there. Always going to need more gears. Grab those, drop right into your science packs again, and now we have enough to finish our automation. Alright, so when automation 2 is complete, uh, I can actually show you the final step, which is to craft the automation level 2. Okay, guys, so we're nearing the end of the automation. 2 is almost finished on the research. Probably going to need this one last piece, maybe one more after. I think it's one more after this one. Wait. Yeah, one more. And done. Automation 2 is complete. So we exit out of this. We're going to pick up this here. We're going to switch this over. Now we're going to need the items for this. This is uh, three electric circuits and a sewing machine. So we're going to create three electric circuits. Let that craft up. You have to use the assembly machine for these crafts. Get your three electric circuits, pick up the assembly machine one, then craft your assembly machine two. It will only work as one craft. You're now at your maximum limit, exactly. You place it down, and then you go crafting more sewing machines. And that's it, guys. That is the full run. That's all you need to do to get yourself into this setup. Let's go ahead and craft yourself more sewing machines. And just have the sewing machines create everything for you. Do absolutely nothing yourself. Craft the sewing machines. And of course, your first thing you might want to do is actually craft the sewing machines to craft more sewing machines. So you always have a supply of assembly machines to place down and craft and craft and craft and craft. And you make your entire thing of all automation and you will never craft in your inventory ever again. You're done. That's it. Congratulations. So, if you can then go ahead and beat the game without crafting any more items in your inventory, you will obtain this achievement. The lazy bastards. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed and hope you've learned how to get yourself set up and use all 111 you can to get yourself the lazy bastard achievement. The total time work right now for this game, and I'll go ahead and save it and show you. I'm going to save it as the autosave 3. Load all save three. You'll see 35 minutes. So it's about 35 minutes total. So yeah, you have to be very patient. It's about 10 to 50. It's like about 10 minutes of you really not doing much of anything because you can't craft any more items. So you just you know you cut down trees and you mine manually until your picks break, or you continue cutting down trees. So, you know, do whatever you want. Just don't craft anything. And you're good to go. So. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope it helped you guys out, especially helping you guys out. I want you guys to get these achievements and you know have fun doing it. So this is a crying shame. Signing out.